Good afternoon, I'm Katie Booth, this is Northwest News at 4 o'clock. When you visit urban farms like this one here in Reddish, you don't just feed the animals, you feed back to the community. The Christmas markets have turned Manchester into a winter wonderland for another year. The prices are expensive, but people here seem to think it's worth it for bringing that little bit of Christmas cheer to their hometown. Katie Booth, Northwest News, in Manchester City Centre. What's the reaction in the area been like? Well, I've been speaking to the people here in Fulwood all day and um, people are shocked by this. I spoke to the priest here at St Anthony's Church, Peter Draper, and he said that violence like this is unheard of within the community. Boccia is a growing Paralympic sport that's similar to French bulls and can be played by people of all disabilities. Yet despite British success in recent years, one of our local sports clubs are yet to see a positive impact since last year's games. I visited a training session at Stockport Boccia Club to find out more. Life goes on after London 2012, but despite being a Paralympic sport, boccia is still relatively unknown. Centralisation and closure of libraries has forced people away from the areas they live to find the books they want to read, but the book cycle in Wigan has become the hub of the community. The One Voice project not only gives the chance for people with learning disabilities to get their voices heard, but for people in the local area to hear a true reflection of society. So Bradley Wiggins' sideburns may have raised a smile or two while he's been cycling, but now he can officially lay claim to being the wittiest celebrity in the country. Ex-Blackpool manager Ian Holloway came third in the poll. Here's one of Wigo's jokes, see how funny you think he is. The 17-year-old boy from Preston has been arrested and it is believed that he is known by James Anderson. And uh, the police also think a second person might have been involved and they're urging people who know about that to ring 101 with any information that they might have. But as of yet, the investigation continues.